This is what you came to see. Boom. Hi guys, how's it going? Hope you had a great new year. You have read the title of the video. You know what's coming. This is the Insta 361R. This is the new 360 camera that、uh, is being announced today. It is a modular camera, so there are multiple parts. You can take it apart, put it together. It comes with a 360 module, which is. Here, which is dual lens, 5.7K resolution. It also comes with this 4K module, which is 4K at 60 frames per second. So this is essentially two cameras in one. So I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about this camera. Unfortunately, I can't actually show you any footage. And I can't show you the app because it's not ready. Because the firmware is not ready, the app's not ready, and Insta 360 specifically requested that we don't show anything until it's fully ready. I have actually had this camera for a while now, and I have shot a lot of footage, and I think it looks pretty good already. But they have requested that we don't show anything yet. So you'll have to come back on the 14th of this month, so in seven days, and I will show you all the stuff that I've been shooting,、uh, and especially going to show you the app because the app is by far the best thing about the whole. System. I'm also going to Brazil literally today. While you're watching this, I will probably be on a plane to Brazil, so, and I'll be taking this camera and be shooting some stuff there. So I'll be able to show you some awesome footage. So yes, let me show you how it works quickly because it's quite cool. Like I said, modular, modular camera. Not sure why didn't they call it the Insta 361M? Don't know what R stands for.、Uh, slides across here. This is the battery. Take the battery out. This just pulls apart like a piece of Lego. Um, so yeah, so there we go. They have the connectors there. So this is the 4K module. I'll have you can have a closer look at it there. It's just a wide-angle 4K lens, similar to like a GoPro Hero. It shoots quite high-quality footage. Like I say, 4K, 60 frames per second. I have shot with it. It looks pretty good. So say you wanted to switch now to the 360 module, which is here. You can see it's a dual lens. 5.7K at 30 frames per second, and multiple other resolutions, which I'll tell you about later. So it essentially just fits in like that, and there we go. So once you plug that in, just then pop the battery back on. It's all very easy. Takes about 20 seconds to change it all. And you're done. There we go. Now it's a 360 camera as opposed to a 4K camera. You can see the main module here, which is where everything plugs into, and it's got a touch screen, as you can see. So there we go. You can see it there. It's the full, first Insta 360 camera with a full touch screen, so it allows for much more intricate manual controls. You can preview your photos, your files, your videos. There is also a, another module coming out. It's a one-inch sensor. It's not been、uh, released yet.、Um, I haven't got it. I haven't used it, but I have seen it, and I know it exists. It's going to be able to shoot much better in low light. It's kind of a more professional option. It's an add-on. It's an added extra. So if you wanted something that's going to shoot very High dynamic range. It's going to shoot very high resolution. I think just over 5K with a one-inch lens is very impressive. But that is something that's coming later, so I'm not going to focus on it too much today. As I mentioned, I can't show you any footage. Really gutted by that because I was looking forward to doing so. But、uh, yeah, I can tell you some more of the specs, which you'll probably be interested in. So let's go into those. The 360 mod, which I have in right now, has a maximum resolution of 5.7K at 30 frames per second, and then it goes all the way down, reducing resolution. Up to、um, up to 3K at 100 frames per second. So it's very similar in that respect to the Insta 361X. I do believe the actual quality of the video is better in this camera from what I've seen, from what I've compared against the two.、Uh, the 4K mod, the wide angle mod here, has a maximum resolution of 4K at 30 frames per second, but it can also do 4K at 60 frames per second. So that's going to result in some super smooth footage and also some kind of slow motion effect at 4K. The camera is going to be waterproof up to. To five meters, if as long as you assemble it correctly, make sure it's all plugged in properly, or it won't be waterproof. But that's a big plus compared to other Insta 360 cameras. You won't necessarily need a waterproof housing to take it into water. However, there will be a dive case available,、uh, hopefully quicker than the last one. But、um, yeah, so if you want to go diving, I guess deep or for lengthy periods of times, you would use that. But for general water resistance, this is waterproof on its own. Video bit rate is up to 100 megabits per second for both 4K and 360 video. Both cameras can shoot raw photos and also use another mode called Night Shot, which kind of stacks loads of different photos together to create a kind of ultra high high dynamic range image. They call it Night Shot, but to be honest, it works really well in daylight as well. And、um, I would again, I will show you that in a week's time what it looks like. It's a really good way of shooting photos. Works, does it all、uh, automatically. You don't need to edit it yourself. 
It has all the standard shooting modes that we've come to expect from Insta360, like time shift, time lapse, hyperlapse, all that kind of stuff. So let, let's have a look at what you get in the box when you get this camera. So I have obviously already unboxed mine because I've been using it for a few days now. So in the version that I got in the box, you obviously get the main housing unit with the touch screen, this little square thing here. You also get the 4K mod, which is the wide angle, the wide angle camera, and then the 360 mod as well. You also get the battery, and as well as that, you get this housing unit, which is kind of like, I guess, if anyone's owned a GoPro Hero, they'll, it was something similar to that. It even features the similar kind of mount there, as you can see. Um, and then once the camera is assembled, you put it inside this, and it will um, now be able to attach to selfie sticks and all kinds of other accessories. So that's what that's for. You also get this lens guard for the One R's lenses and the 360 mod. So that is very useful because they're still very vulnerable to scratches and stuff. So that is a welcome addition. But apart from that, guys, that's pretty much it. You obviously get uh, some booklets. You get a USB-C cable for charging. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. But the main selling point of this camera for me personally isn't the hardware. It's it's impressive hardware and I like the idea. The concept's really cool for these modules and for being able to take it apart, whatever. But the main selling point is definitely, definitely, definitely the app that comes with this camera. The Insta360R app is, as far as I'm concerned, pretty revolutionary in terms of any kind of mobile editor. It's the best mobile editor I've ever used, regardless if it's for 360 cameras or anything else. They have clearly put a lot of thought and a lot of innovation into this app and I'm going to go through exactly why right now. So it's going to be hard to explain and get you excited without actually showing you but I literally can't. They've just asked me not to so I'm not going to. Uh, don't want to annoy anyone at headquarters at Insta360. What basically makes the app so cool is the fact that it makes editing 360 video which has been troublesome in the past no matter how good you are at it on a mobile app it's been a bit of a challenge to convince people to do it. It makes it so much easier than it ever has been before. So you know all these effects that you can achieve with 360 cameras. I did a video on the One X of how to achieve certain effects uh, and you can achieve really good effects but it requires you to go in and do that reframing uh, uh, that reframing process which can be a bit cumbersome sometimes and can take some time. Well the Insta360 One R app kind of does a lot of that automatically. It's got some AI in there, it's got some artificial intelligence which can automatically detect the best parts of your video and it will choose those parts for you and you can just choose which ones you want to use, combine it together, and it will create a decent video. Uh, and that can all be done in about, I guess, a few minutes. You can obviously go in and make those manual edits as much as you want to. You can still do the reframing as much as you want to, but it just cuts out a lot of time searching for the best parts of your video. You can use preset themes, which will automatically apply the right effects to your video. It shows you exactly how you should shoot your video. It shows you how many shots you need to achieve the video. Then all you do is press a button, choose the clips that are relevant, and it will automatically add the effects. This is hard for me to explain. I will show you what this means and how easy this is to achieve in a week's time. So make sure you stay tuned, make sure you subscribe if you want to see that. You can also combine footage from both the 4K camera and the 360 camera together in the same video. You can add transitions. There are so many different transitions you can add. You can add music, you can add effects, you can color correct in the in the app itself. You can basically do everything you can do, for example, in Premiere Pro, which is what I usually use to edit. I can pretty much do everything in the app. Pretty much all of that you can do in the One R app. You'll also notice that this camera is not a drone. There was speculation that this was going to be a drone because in some of the marketing it was, uh, you know, uh, insinuated that this is a replacement for a drone. Now, what they mean by that is that there is a version of this camera that can attach to a drone. It's called the Air Aerial, Aerial Mod or Aerial Version. Basically, it's a type of this camera that can attach to a drone and through some magic software, I don't really understand how it works, it can make the drone disappear in the, in the final video. So there have been some, a few videos released uh, that have shown this, I think on Facebook from Insta360 and it just shows almost like the camera is magically flying around on its own. It has an advanced tracking feature which allows you to track a specific moving object for as long as you need and it's way more advanced than the previous one which was quite quite buggy, quite slow, lost tracking uh, if it got in between something. But this tracking feature, literally I tracked someone, a person, and moving between trees, moving between objects, and it still tracked that person for a good minute or so. So it's way more advanced, way quicker, and way better than the previous tracking feature. 
Now I'm really concerned this is going to be quite a boring video because I'm literally just speaking to the camera. So I'm just going to fire off all the other things that I know about this camera. If it just HDR video and photos, you can connect the camera to Bluetooth earphones and listen to the sound as it's being recorded. It features voice control and features a replaceable battery, obviously. And as far as I can tell, it's way better than the One X's battery, which was probably for me its biggest down point. Okay guys, I think that's it. That's pretty much all I can tell you without actually showing you anything. Sorry, I can't do that, but check back in seven days time when I'll be able to show you everything that I'm shooting. Do you think this is a good idea? Will you be getting it? Uh, what are you most excited about? And yeah, let us know what you think in the comments. You can also see a full list of the specs, the full list of all the features on my website. So check that out. It will be in the link in the description. So yeah, um, that's it. Insta361R. Looking forward to shooting with it. I mean, I already have been so Trust me, it is really good. I think the app is the best part. I will be doing a whole video just on the app. So stay tuned for that. Uh, yeah, see you next time. Bye.